South Africa. Inspire a nation. So most of you have been asking um, if we only specifically want girls to enter from Hauteng, Durban and Cape Town because the regionals are being held there. No, we want girls from across, across the country to enter for Miss South Africa. It is a nationwide competition. The only reason we are holding it in the big cities is because we get the majority of entrants there and it's just a, a point of convenience. So if you do come from a smaller town, you will be expected to travel to some of the bigger cities to go to regionals. But in addition to that, any eliminations are after that will be paid for by Sun International. So is one trip worth your dream? Let's so I got your question and I must say I gave a little bit of a giggle when I read it. Of course you can enter Miss Esso when you wear eyeglasses. There's certain things we can do about it. It doesn't matter that you don't have to wear glasses throughout your year or that you can't sometimes wear your glasses. Although it would be expected of you for the final pageant to have contact lenses or something like that. But I don't think beauty is only limited to people with good eyesight. So I think I'll give you a heads up there. Hi Dorothy, um, we heard your question and there's actually so many different people that also ask the same question. Why do we allow people to enter more than twice? I don't think it is necessarily a bad thing to allow a girl to come back and improve on certain things that she's learned from herself throughout the process. I do think that the process that you go through in entering Miss South Africa and going through the judging and the eliminations and the workshop itself those are lessons that every girl can learn and apply to themselves. A lot of girls ask questions about tattoos and gold teeth and things like that. We're trying to compete on an international stage as well and there are certain requirements for uh, an entrant to be able to be a viable competitor at the international, on the international pageant, say, whether it be Miss World or Miss Universe. If a Miss South Africa had to have a tattoo or she had to have um, gold teeth or anything like that, those would be things that aren't acceptable on an international stage. For the ladies asking about height requirements, there is some really, really good news. Being a very short girl, my, girl myself, uh, there aren't any height restrictions this year for entry for Miss South Africa. Although I have to add, the shorter you are, um, the better equipped you'll have to be in walking in very, very high heels. So if you 1.6, 1, 1.65, 1.69 um, and anything above, I don't think it should be a challenge. It's just a way of how you carry yourself and how you light up a room. If you can still grab people's attention for all the right reasons and stand out in a crowd, I don't think height is supposed to play a role. Mandisa, thank you for your question. I think it is a very valid point you're raising. The fact that uh, Miss South Africa um, is a pageant and I think there are certain expenses that one would have to, um, to see to in preparing for the pageant itself with regards to makeup, hair, wardrobe, things like that. That is definitely expense to a person but um, just to put you at rest, you don't have to impress people with labels, you don't have to impress someone uh, with the most lavish wardrobe. If you look your best then that's enough for us. When you reach the top 35, flights are being paid for by Sun International um, for the girls going to the Sun City Workshop so that's not a worry for you. Hair, makeup and everything um, in aid of the, the preparations for the final pageant, all of that is being paid for by sponsors. Sia Sangha, thank you for your question. Uh, no, you don't have to have an agency to enter for Miss South Africa. It's completely unrelated to any modeling career you might have or to girls being signed at local agencies. Although we are expecting of certain agencies to also um, get some of their girls on their books to also enter Miss South Africa. So there will be a mix of girls. Girls have been scouted, girls who haven't been scouted, girls who've entered on a whim, girls who are at agencies. But the matter of fact is, the fact that you're at an agency doesn't equip you more to be a Miss SA. If you think you have what it takes to be the next Miss SA, make sure you enter now. The entries close on the 31st of August and you can grab all your entry forms on MissSA.co.za or any Sun International property, hotel or resort. Miss South Africa, inspire and